are about to head to sleep. Just had a good workout. <laughs> just had a good workout. Yeah, that was... free workout. <laughs> you know, it gets me all pumped and shit, you know? You feel me, bro? Yeah. <laughs> I can't even do this. This is too real. Yeah, so, uh, show, show them the setup we got. Show them the setup. All right, yeah. let's do uh, let's do a pan of the room real quick. Yeah, give them a pan, full pan. Hold up, don't look yet. It's private. <laughs> I can't look. Oh baby. What's going on, everybody? I'm back here with another workout vlog for y'all. Now, you're probably thinking, where's my squat? Where's my deadlift? Why am I using the leg press? My lower back's been a little bit tight, and I think it's from all the excessive volume with my three main lifts. So, my squat, my bench, my deadlift. So, um, just to give it a little bit of a break and not to try and stress my lower back any more than I've already have in the past I had decided to uh, give it a little bit of break and sit in the leg press right here and uh, the nice thing about this one is like the way that you're seated uh, there's really no uh, lower back um, tightness at all when I do this and uh, you doing it one leg at a time unilateral uh, really definitely helps uh, that and it brings a little bit more tension into the uh, the hamstring and uh, glute area which is really the the main focus right now uh, with my leg training anyway really trying to bring my hamstrings up because they are beta as fuck compared to my quads mm, excuse me um, so that's what I'm really working on right now is really building, building up my hamstring but overall leg growth uh, you know overall that's really what I want. Uh, I'm really trying to close up that thigh gap. And uh, we're almost there. We're almost there. Um, so, yeah, the, doing uh, this unilateral one leg at a time right here. And uh, I really like the way that the uh, the platform moves because it's almost like a, like a squatting motion. So it's got that uh, squat press type movement to it. So it really it feels really natural. Uh, so anyway... Um, Let's get right into what I'm going to talk about right now, and um, that is my uh, my off-season goals up until maybe next spring. So, uh, if you guys don't follow 3DMJ at all, they uh, every time right around New Year's time, if I'm correct with the timing. Uh, they do this almost sponsorship, sponsorship athletes trial, whatever for uh, for contest prepping for shows such as bodybuilding, men's physique, you know, bikini figure stuff like that. So basically, they make the announcement via Instagram, YouTube, whatever, and um, over a month or two or three, I think it is. Uh, a bunch of people send in like physique updates and you know body composition stuff like that and uh, 3DMJ will pick two athletes one male one female that they will coach into a bodybuilding show so this is something that I've really wanted to do and there was a time last year where I was going to do a show but dropped out like two months prior to it uh, I just wasn't feeling it I didn't I felt like I had started my diet too early so it was lethargic and my training was getting worse and worse and I didn't really like the way that I looked so I decided to drop out my uh, my buddy on the other hand that I was gonna do a couple of shows with wound up taking fourth um, overall which is pretty damn good uh, into his first show that he did which is kind of funny because the second show I felt like he was holding a lot less water but took seventh anyway that's bodybuilding though um, damn I can't believe I actually filmed all these sets for you, you guys must be bored but anyway um, 
so yeah, that's the goal right now. I really, really want to try and compete. I want to try and get my feet wet in competition. I have a couple of friends that uh, work out at the same gym that I go to that compete. So there's a strong possibility in 2016 that you guys will see me up on stage uh, in that posing thong. Yeah. So yeah, that's the goal, guys. Uh, just trying to play it safe right now. I, uh, I've I've had a couple of lower back injuries this year so I'm really just trying to play it safe I don't really want to hurt myself I want to be able to make continuous progress so if it means backing off my squat and backing off my deadlift for a little while I will find other exercises that will benefit me just as well such as this and um, one new thing that I actually tried out for the very first time today is the uh, the glute ham raise machine that we have in this gym um, now I've been at this gym now for almost a whole year or this gym's been open now for almost a year, so it's a pretty new gym, and um, it's a fucking awesome facility, by the way. Um, but anyway, yeah, so I tried out the glute ham raise machine, and um, I really, really liked it. So uh, I did uh, my first set, and uh, it felt great. Decided to grab a 10-pound plate, hold on to that while I'm doing the exercise, make it a little bit more tough. And um, my hamstrings right now, because uh, I did this workout today. This one, on the other hand, was done on Monday. I think it was the 15th was the date. So, um, or the 14th, maybe. And then um, I did these uh, single leg leg curls right here. Uh, again, you guys know that I'm trying to bring my hamstrings up. So I'm doing a little more hamstring work than quad work. Um, so, yeah. And... I'm doing my uh, my macros right now. I haven't really been tracking macros as of like the past few months, maybe even a year now. Um, par se anyway, because i I'm gotten pretty good at the point where I can like look at food and say, all right, that's kind of where it is. Like That's this many carbs, this many fats, this got this much protein, blah, 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 fiber. Uh, and I say I've been doing pretty damn good because my body weight's been staying pretty consistent over the past like six months to a year now so whether I track my macros or not I usually wind up between 161 and 165 pounds so um, some of you may be like well ah, that's a huge jump that's like four pounds but I mean all in all when you jump up that much in a day or two it's it's really just water so anywhere between 161 and 165 is where I stand right now uh, obviously the goal is to put on more body fat build more muscle into this uh, show that I'm doing here. And, uh, I figured I just wanted to try and show you guys, see what my calves are looking like, and uh, I hope you can kind of see them. I know it's not a really great angle, and it's kind of hard to find a, a good angle for this this spot right here. So, um, anyway, we're coming to the end of the video. I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.